Hello, today we're going to be talking about measuring internal reliability using JASP. So say you have a scale with multiple items. For example, I have a satisfaction scale here and I have five different items in this satisfaction scale. I want to see whether all of these questions are measuring the same construct and leading to the final score of satisfaction or if they're measuring different constructs which would indicate poor reliability. So one measure of internal reliability is known as Kronbach's alpha, and it's very easy to calculate in JASP as long as you have the raw scores for each of the individual questions. So to calculate that, you're first going to want to click on the Show Modules menu and scroll down to Reliability and check it. Now you're going to see this nice reliability module up here. If you click on it, you're going to want to click unidimensional reliability. Now it's called that way because you're checking that these are all measuring the same dimension. Now once you click on that, you're going to want to drag each of these items into variables. And actually, if you click shift and then click on the last one, you can highlight them all at once and bring them over. Next, you're going to want to go into analysis, and instead of these, you're going to want to click Kronbach's alpha. Now, this is going to give you your value of Kronbach's alpha. Here, it's 0.91. A value of 0.8 or above is typically considered excellent. A value of 0.7 is typically considered good internal reliability, and a value less than 0.7 is typically means you have poor internal reliability.